Hey there, this is Lee Stranahan, continuing on the smear piece by the New York Times and reporter Caitlin Dickinson. I'll be talking more about uh, the factual problems with the story in a moment, but I just want to take a quick diversion to point out why I say this is a smear piece. In this section here, they talk about how Steve Bannon referred to me as a pit bull of reporter, and they say that then 50 Stranahan was relatively new to journalism. They go over a bunch of things here in my resume, but interestingly, they leave out my journalistic resume. They, they say I did comedy for the Huffington Post, but they don't mention, for instance, that in 2008, they said I'm relatively new, I was on the John Edwards story, and I broke big news in the John Edwards story at various points including the fact that John Edwards had had multiple meetings with Riel Hunter. And I did this all while uh, writing at the Huffington Post and a Democrat under considerable fires. They made it seem like I just did comedy. Blatantly not true. They also failed to mention my work on the Pigford story with Andrew Breitbart, which, interestingly enough, was vindicated by the New York Times. So, And I I talked to Caitlin about my resume uh, specifically. Here's where it mentions me as a Breitbart disciple, sure, who I investigated with Pigford. And, yeah, I was very happy the New York Times, in an front page above the fold, story covered it. One other little detail here. I also, as Caitlin knows, covered the Syrian refugee crisis, where I went to Lebanon, and I did a series of video blogs from Lebanon back in 2013. So this attempt to, it's an attempt to belittle me and belittle my resume. She mentions none of this stuff to the readers. She's hoping the New York Times readers think I'm a cub reporter, a 50-year-old cub reporter who uh, new to what I'm doing. It doesn't mention my work on Occupy and Mask, on the Black Lives Matter movement, on Occupy Wall Street, covering multiple presidential conventions, covering national and international stories. New York Times, a pack of lies, and this is why I say it's a smear job.